So the time has come to bring the pigs to the butcher. I'm going to be taking the uh, gate off the hinges and also uh, setting up the area so the pigs can go right up the ramp and into the trailer. We actually never even hooked up the electric uh, after doing all that. Um, the fence that we had was enough for them. They didn't bother with it. Yeah. The extra fence so that we can put it, I think if we put it right here, I think that that should be enough to keep them from coming out this way. Okay. And then just keep them blocked with this board over here. I'll stand over here while you draw them out with the food. Okay. okay. The fencing that we had is not gonna work because it's frozen in the ground. So I got a board I'm gonna keep over here. And then Cheryl has the gate that we had to stay on this side. Wedge it in here so that they go up the ramp and not off the ramp, like, like that or something. Yep. Maybe I should get out of here first. Because yep. <laughs> I want to try to direct them to go up the ramp. Maybe they don't. I just don't know if this, this is over far enough for them. We need to get food, yep. and then I'll stand over here with this yep. to block this area. Yep. We'll see how it goes. They didn't eat anything for breakfast, so they they gotta, want to eat. They should follow you. We gotta get uh, water in there too. Okay. All right, you ready? Hi, boys. better than I thought it was gonna go. Oh. It'll be fine, they'll figure it out. Oh, it goes the other way. Huh? Yeah, it has to, it has to go the other way. That door closes on the left first. Oh. So we got the pigs all loaded up. We're just waiting for them to finish eating and drinking. Uh, I really don't want to make a, a big mess in the back of the trailer. So uh, I'm just going to let them eat in peace. And then uh, we're going to be heading out to the butcher. Uh, if you notice, we did switch out the trucks. Uh, we used Charles' truck to originally bring the trailer over, um, but we're going to be using my truck to bring it over to the, uh, to the butcher. So 
we just picked up our pork from the butcher and we're gonna go ahead and get it organized in the freezer. We still have about 100 pounds of bacon and ham to pick up still from the smoker, and that probably won't come till a little bit later in the week. So we're gonna go ahead and get this organized and try to see if we can get it all in the uh, freezer. What cuts are those? This is ground pork. They wrapped this one up a little bit differently than the, uh, the, the last place we used. I can show you a side-by-side -side comparison. They used the bags for the sausage last year uh this one's actually kind of a nice little package uh yeah you can you know, see it you can it you can actually nice. see it and it's all sealed up nice and tight this one has all of our pork and all uh, sausage it's the sweet italian and the breakfast blend this is all ground ground pork ground pork it's all sweet italian so we had what half of it not smoked the the ground pork we didn't know we didn't smoke any of the ground pork oh okay so this one looks like a mixture this one's uh, pork loin rib chops and this one is the pork shoulder butt roast and then underneath was a mixture but um, this one is a pork loin roast. So I'm not really sure what's underneath all everything else, but. So all these are all center cut chops and these are all pork loin rib chops. Uh, pork loin roast. Some nice ribs. No, center or pork tenderloin. That's pork. Oh, tenderloin. Okay. There's not going to be that many tenderloins, so we can actually put the tenderloins over here. There's going to be a couple of them. Looks like the rest of this is the leaf lard and the back fat. There is uh, some stuff underneath. Is there? Oh, the bones. And then the pork, bones. Pork bones, yeah. Yep, perfect. These are some more shoulder roasts. Shoulder picnic roasts. All ham steaks. We're going to actually rearrange a few things uh, in the freezer. But these are all ham steaks that we really don't eat very much of. Uh, we're probably going to be selling a lot of those. We took all the, the lard and everything and we're going to put that in the other freezer in the, um, just so we have room for the things that we actually eat more of. Spare ribs, <laughs> pork loin, rib chops, yeah so this looks like it's all, the rest of it is all back fat. Okay. So that's going to go in the other freezer. A lot of fat. Again, no. I'll have so much cooking fat. You have plenty of fat. I have plenty of fat. <laughs> <laughs> fat keeps you warm, you know. Keeps me warm. <laughs> My fat or your fat? Both. <laughs> I'm try to put them over here or something so I can actually get to them. Chicken feet and fat. Do you want to put more fat in first? Yeah, I'm going to put the fat in first. That's why I took that out. 
I'm sure people eat everything. Yeah. Um, yeah, they do. But in this country, we're so used to certain cuts. Yeah. And we don't use everything that you would traditionally use in other countries because we've gotten so used to buying stuff from the supermarket that are premium cuts or, you know, whatever the butcher is, you know, for whatever reason, they cut, the, those cuts are popular. So I don't know. That is a lot of fat. Okay, how many more pounds of meat are we? Almost 100. Yeah. There's like 80 pounds of bacon coming. A couple of uh, ham steaks, uh, ham uh, uh, roasts that are smoked. Well, it's not that many ham steaks. Okay, that's it. All right, that's it. We just finished putting all the pork in the freezers. We're still waiting on another probably 100 pounds or so of smoked pork. Uh, so that'll be really nice once we get that. It should be coming in within a couple days. So we've had a few people ask us how much it costs to raise a pig and the, the feed and if it's worth it. So we're actually gonna do a video in the near future on basically the entire breakdown of the feed cost, everything that's involved in the butchering and the cost of, of the smoking, all that from start to finish. So keep an eye out for that upcoming video. And once again, we're getting more snow. <laughs> Have a good night, guys.